Hello everyone and welcome for this video. This video is a bit special because I'm going to talk about all the wrapper. I'm usually doing a video about a specific wrapper with it APP, CG API, Analytics 2 or LaunchPy. But this one is for everything. As you may have heard, um, the authentication for the API connection is going to change. The GWT authentication is going to be deprecated. We have time till then. It's going to end up being supported in January 2025, so we have more than a year. But um, I prefer to uh, take my precaution in case you want to start now. Then I made available all server to server, the new authentication logic available for all the wrapper. And this video is to talk to you about this uh, specifically. And at the end of the video, I will do an aparte for Adobe Expanse platform because things have changed as well uh, there two um, regarding rights so i will have a little talk at the end but the beginning of the video uh, is only for the old server to server explanation so um, you will have in all of my repository a new version that you can download and i will look at the adobinetics api 2.0 um, now uh, this one uh, you see in the release note somewhere the commission release information will be here there is a release note for all of the wrapper you will see that there is a new version and supporting auth token v2 which is the version uh, the service or service that is uh, server to server and we are going to use that now for adobe analytics 2 um, just coming from the start so obviously yeah, i will start from scratch and i will need to install or up update um, my library so please think of doing that so you need to do oops sorry this will fail because there is no analytics package analytics 2 package uh, or launch by or app uh, you need to do that all the time for uh, having this supported then as usual i will start with the powershell and here i have python and jupyter notebook being created so or being supported so i'm going to start that and that will start uh, an empty notebook so we'll create a new one which will be an analytics analytics post connector So in order to do that, it starts exactly as you used to. It's just a little change are coming within the uh, element. So if I start, usually I'm doing importing as API2, um, then an IPA2, you have this create, and let me make it a bit bigger so you can see better uh, create config file this already existed before it still exists but now if you look inside with uh, uh, tab um, uh, shift tab then you have the option and you see that there is a host type available and this host type has two possible value either host v2 or jwt by default it is now host v2 the previous version was jwt because i did not support i didn't know it was even going to come this host v2 so now i just need to create this one and you will see that the config analytics template has been created so i will do this is my config analytics all and if i open it You see that the different element that I need for this configuration has changed. The org ID, client ID, and secret are, were already there. And the scope, no, has changed. So you can start to do what we will do now is in my organization, I will create a new project. And in the add to project, I will add uh, an API which is going to be for Experience Cloud Adobe Analytics. And you see that you still have the service account uh, JWT. The O certification for Adobe Analytics is still existing, it's still a thing. I'm not 
technically supporting authentication like this, uh, it's, uh, it's not that convenient. But the host server to server is the one that is new and is going to be enforced starting 2025. So you can actually uh, start use this one. And I'm going to select all of my product profile because I'm not too worried, but of course you need to select the correct access permission that you want for that authentication. What it's still doing in the background is creating a user that has specific permission, but is using this uh, information for login. So if I, will, I go to credential now, I still have my client ID, so I will copy that because I've seen that I need this uh, here. You have still the client secret, so I'm going to retrieve that client secret. And then I'm going to add the organization ID, I think was needed, org ID. And more importantly, you need to have the scope. So the scope will change. You will see if you add more APIs and you go to the scope list, you will have all of those lines uh, directly attached uh, one to another with different scope in mind. In this one, in this page, you have the whole the scope combined. You can copy that directly here. So uh, it's already combined from every possible scope. And you can replace, oh, sorry, you need to replace here. And I'm going to save that. Once, once that is done, you can go on as usual by doing import config file, config analytics. There is auto completion if I type tab, that's why it's happening. Um, and then I think that's uh, logging we need to go. So this is going to be API2, logging capability. And then you can do the get company ID. And from that company ID, you see that AGS will be API2 analytics company ID. One important thing, or I don't know if it's important, but one trick is that then in the connector, which is where it's transiting all of the token generation, or you still have the token, of course, that is available if you want to use it, but also normally you have the, uh, if I get the connection type that is being used and you see that now it's using the OSV2. Uh, in case you were using the JWT, uh, you don't change anything uh, of your current implementation. So you're already using the JWT, you stay like this. This is still supported, so it will still work the same way. Uh, it's uh, yeah, just working. But in that case, when you look at the connector and connection types, you will see here JWT um, in case you are using JWT. So it's backward compatible. You don't need to change. Uh, maybe that would be uh, something that uh, I should have stated, stated at the beginning. But yeah, it's uh, always what I try to do. That's why it's for me it was obvious that uh, when I try to do this kind of change, I'll try to make it work for also previous elements when possible. OK, now. This is the part on for all certification. So this will work exactly the same way for all of them um, in IP. We have a little uh, more change and I will going to uh, tackle those one now. So if you are not concerned by IP, then uh, you can end the video here. But in IP, if we are going to uh, create um, a project, and now, so if I'm going to the EMEA consulting organization, they used to be, I mean, that for all of the other API, for all of the other uh, project, you uh, always take care of the permission from the product profile. For AEP, this is not the case anymore. So the project profile I have assigned to this project for IEP do not matter. 
So for customer analytics, still need it. You need project profile with specific permission. For experience platform API, this does not matter. This is not where you set up the permission. If you, you need to go uh, into experience platform and in that experience platform, you have now a permission tab And here, I, I do not see it, uh, you will have an API if you are a system admin. I'm not a system admin for uh, the EMEA consulting, uh, so I'm, I'm not able to see it, but you will see here a uh, API credential, and this is where the same way you see it now for users. So you see I have all of my colleagues here, and I look at Anko, I can actually see the role being attached with them. And the same way for the user, you will have to do the same for credential, API credential. The API credential will look at the name of the project. Uh, and this is how it's going to be uh, managed now in a four platform. Only system admin can do this, unfortunately. So there is no other way. So if you are not a system admin, you are not able to manage. You need to find someone in your organization with a system admin right to actually handle this uh, API credential thing in platform. Uh, I wish I could be, I, I'm able to show you with other clients, but this is not the purpose to show you client account. So uh, I cannot show you here in the EMEA consulting, but this is uh, here going to look at a, a separate tab that is going to be API credential here. Um, so Mind this when you create an API, because then you will create that in the project. I send product profile for IP and it will not work. No wonders you need to actually now change that here. <coughs> Sorry for the for this. Okay, uh, this is the uh, end of the video. I hope it was clear enough and uh, have fun now coding and uh, uh, talk to you later.